How about a satisfaction of search effect in endontic CT? I've observed from watching John that the approach seems to be to look at the transsagittal view of, uh, uh, to actually make diagnoses, uh, particularly um, uh, if you're looking for infection. Um, here's an example. What a good example it is, too. Down here, we have the disrupted ligament. We have bone markings going away. And of course, in, in looking at, in, cons in getting to this view, we've taken a path. We've, we've said, well, we've got to create an arch because we want to have uh, a curved um, stack. And we'll create a kind of a scout view so that we can, we can see what a, um, a panoramic radiograph would have given us. And, ah, look at this. We see some, some things that are kind of suspicious looking. Uh, and, hmm, here too. And, of course, we've got these other things that are sort of tip-offs. We've got this, um, I, think, I think John called this a, a crummy root canal. Um, it was, he said it was a technical term. Uh, we know that from this line, blue to blue here, that we're going through this tooth to get our uh, transsagittal view. And boy, has that uh, done the job for us. And lo and behold, we can go through this, this tooth with the, uh, with the crummy root canal and look at what's happening out here. And lo and behold, we find Ha, huh. we don't find any evidence. There's no finding. It's okay. Wow, we're doing great. But how's, how's the, the superior information going to help you with the other teeth? I mean, you've got so much information, you've used a strategy to get to the important information. What about all the other teeth? What about all the teeth that you didn't look at the transsagittal view. Are you going to look at all those teeth? Even the ones where you don't have clinical suspicion or um, suggestive findings uh, in, the, in the more general view?